But this is my Mac lock screen. I think we can agree this is a little bit boring. We're going to be jumping into how you make your Mac do this promo video on Mac OS 26. If you're running Sequoia or any of the previous versions of Mac OS, check out my other video linked below where I show you how to do that there. I'm using a different video there, but in this one, we're going to be looking at Mac OS 26 because they've made some fundamental changes and it's no longer compatible. So let's jump into it. So as you can see here, this is my standard lock screen. This is the standard lock screen you get with Mac OS 26, Mac OS Tahoe. Um, but we're going to be looking at how we ended up with a custom video. So of course you can pick a video. Let's go into settings, system settings. And of course you can come down here to the landscape settings and you can click on one. So if I go Los Angeles overpass. For some reason it always downloads it again. I don't know. But yeah, you can then set that as your lock screen. And when you go to the lock screen, it plays a video. It's not very interesting. It's a very slow, landscapey video. But we know two things from this. One, there are video files that it's playing and that they can be downloaded. So if they can be downloaded by the system as part of the system running functions, the likelihood is they could be edited by a user on the system. So what I wanted to do is work out where this is happening. So I went back to this image and I opened up Activity Monitor. If you're not familiar with Activity Monitor, on Mac it allows you to view what's running. You don't have the equivalent on iOS, but it allows you to run all the see what's running on the system and all that sort of stuff. And when you click on one of these videos, you'll notice that a wallpaper aerial extension gets loaded. And if you click into that, so you like double click on it, that opens up this window pane. And in this window pane, it tells you all about the application. And if you go to open files and ports, you can see here that in the user Thomas library application support, com.apple wallpaper, aerial videos, video name.mov. How much do you want to bet that when we open that file, we're going to get that video? Should we find out? I'll just jump over to a new terminal session. So I'll have a terminal session. You don't need to do this. This is just for demonstration. Open. Oh, it says it doesn't exist. Open. It needs to be in quote marks because it's got a space in it. And look, this is the video. But this is the video that you see. Okay. So we've learned that the video exists. And what we've also learned is where the video exists. So at this point, I would recommend that you download a video that you don't mind losing. So pick one of the landscape, underwater or earth videos that you don't mind losing. Well, you can copy it before you do this so you don't lose it forever. And if you just delete it from the system, the system will re-download re it and it's not gone. But just choose one that you want to know which one it is. So I'm going to choose the Dubai skyline. So I've clicked on that, as you can see. And now I've got that as my background. And what we're going to do is we're going to jump over to Finder. In Finder, click on Go, go to Folder, and now type in the first part of this URL that we had here. So, user Thomas, or in your case, whatever your name is, or whatever your user's name is, library application space support, com.apple wallpaper, and hit enter. You'll then end up on this page. And what you'll notice here is in the aerial section, you've got these videos and these are the videos that we're showing. So this is a six minute long video. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy the video. So I've made a duplicate. Oh, I just read command C, command V. You could do that a different way. And now it's time to acquire the video of your choice. How you want to acquire that video is up to you. But that's important. You need to have a video and it needs to be in the .mov format. So the video I've got here is not in the MOV format. So I'm going to go File, Export as, 1080p. It's not a 4K video, if it's a 4K video. And I'm going to use smallest file size, HEVC. And then you click Save, and it will export that. It will export it to wherever you're saving it to, so that I think I'll save it to the desktop. That's important. You're going to need to know where that file is. So we've now got the folders where it's downloading all the videos, and we've got the files. So this is going to do this. And once this is done, that will exist here. And give it a moment. It's having a little think about it. That video exists there. I can hit space and it'll play. And that is exactly what I want 
to be on my lock screen. Obviously, you can pick different ones and stuff like that. Okay, so now that we've copied or you're just gonna delete the video, we need to get the name. So if you right click and you go rename and you just copy it all. Sorry, the screen recording stopped there. But what I've done is I've renamed it. Now that I've renamed it, I'm gonna copy it with Command C, then go back to this folder, delete the original video and go Command V to paste in. And now that video has the same name as what it used to do. I've still got the old video there, but I'm just leaving that there as a copy in case I wanna put it back. And now go back to your activity monitor session and find the aerial extension. I've still got it open and just click quit, force quit, reload, and there you go. The starting opening page of the video. Of course, if you close the computer and open it, you'll get the video to play. I can't do that and screen record. So you'll have to just trust me on that. It's quite interesting that you can do this. There are a few caveats and a few problems. I have noticed that you do need to make sure the video that you're replacing is the same length as the video that exists. Most of the videos that exist are about six minutes. So my recommendation would be stick it in some sort of editor and make it six minutes. Just like duplicate the video so you have it six times or whatever or whatever you need to do to make it six minutes long. That's just because it's expecting there to be keyframes at certain points of the video which it could stop at for the lock screen and the home screen. And if they don't exist or if the timeline is greater than the video, it crashes the extension and yeah. But that's simply fixed by just doing that thing like I did where you quit the extension. But yeah, this is just a quick video showing you how to do that. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you found this interesting, do hit the subscribe button and the like button or comment. Comment and tell me about what video you're going to be putting as your lock screen. And I'll see you in the next one.